John here with RipeWave Audio and again with the Anthem AVM70. And if you've been following the last two videos on this product, this is the third now in that series. Uh, we're going to kind of wrap this up. Uh, if you watch those videos, uh, you noticed that we had some issues with the Anthem Arc Genesis uh, calibration process where it blew out one of my speakers. Uh, in that process, we are in the midst of troubleshooting that, working with Anthem. Uh, they have messages out to uh, their engineers to see if they can give me some further guidance on you know, how to avoid such a situation. But I did a little troubleshooting of my own and found that depending on what amplifier I use to drive my Polk LSI-15 and other Polk speakers in the system. The one that was impacted was the LSI uh, center channel uh, with, with that uh, blowout. And it seems that when I run it through my Emotiva monoblocks or any of the differential reference Emotivas, I'm getting a, over a 90 dB uh, output when we run the Anthem Arc Genesis measurement process and the Anthem Arc Genesis wants to control the volume. I can kind of override it. I found the best way to override it is actually with the mobile app because it doesn't do this jump thing that actually caused the uh, speaker to blow. Uh, what happened was in the web interface, if you're not precisely on a raise the volume slightly, raise lower the volume uh, slightly button, it will jump to that volume on this bar. And if you're just to the left of the button on the plus side, it will go to maximum volume. So that's what happened. And if I use the mobile app, I don't have that risk. So I did a little further testing. Uh, and I found out that when I drive these speakers with the Emotiva uh, reference uh, monoblocks, I get that over 90 dB output. If I switch over to my Sony TAN9000ES, which is not 1,000 watts into 4 ohms, but closer to 120, I can't quite get a clear spec on it, but let's just say around 120 watts per channel, well, much more uh, safe if it went, even if it went to full uh, volume there and noticed that when you do the quick measure tool, and you can clearly see that with the Emotiva monoblocks, with a balanced connection to them, XLR, it's hitting peaks over 90 decibels. If I switch over to the unbalanced connection to my Sony amp, which is 120 watts per channel, into 4 ohms, that drops at least by 8 decibels, maybe 10 in some cases. And I bet this is what a lot of you have been giving me feedback on and say, well, I haven't had a problem, but then others are saying you have. And I think it all depends on what you, amplifiers you have driving and what the sensitivity of your speakers are. So if you have more sensitive speakers with a lot of horsepower behind them with your amplifiers, it doesn't seem like the Anthem Arc is attenuating that down to accommodate for the more powerful amps uh, using a balanced connection. That's the best I can attribute to why some of you have not experienced the problem that I have and some of you are. So that's that issue. And as I started looking at this a little more carefully and running some test post blowing out the center speaker, being careful about it, I noticed that around 2,000 hertz that the uh, response curve for my left-hand channel was dropping off considerably and not on the right-hand channel. And it was clearly seen, I do this through Anthem Arc Genesis. 
I was like, oh my goodness, I blew the tweeter in this as well. Uh, I took the tweeter from the center channel, which is a known good, and I replaced it with the one that was in here. Same effect. Ran the test again, still dropping off at 2,000 hertz. Then I swapped the tweeters between the two speakers. Still, the left-hand side is dropping up at 2,000 hertz. It's not the tweeter. It probably isn't the tweeter. It could be then one of two things. It's either the signal coming out of the Anthem AVM70 when it runs the arc, or something went wrong with the monoblock from Emotiva. When I was doing the calibration, and that slipped on, on the left-hand channel, it went into overload protection. We got the red LEDs all across it. Now I was able to reset it, and it came back. Turn the power off, turn the power back on. And I can listen to music, and it all seems good. But now when I compare measurements on this left-hand speaker made prior to those that overload and afterwards the one before matches with the right-hand channel it goes up keeps going past 2000 hertz but since then consistently over at 2000 hertz it drops off and it doesn't matter if i want reverse these well, what I did was I swapped the amplifier, used this amplifier for the right-hand channel, and the problem moved with the amp. So I think I have a problem with the amp. One more test I did, in case it was the AVM70, and it was something weird that Anthem Arc Genesis was doing, I switched over to the RMC1 and used Dirac and run its measurements and it was still reporting a problem with the left hand channel and then when I swapped amplifiers the problem again moved to the right hand side so this is telling me something impacted the XPA1 monoblock when this issue happened with the Anthem Arc Genesis correction and it jumped up to maximum volume. So I have reached out to Emotiva. We'll see if they're able to do something to help me um, troubleshoot this further and, and see if I can recover. Maybe I have to send it back for service. But I am certainly not happy with the, the Anthem Arc Genesis as um, it's behaving to me. And while there might have been some operator error on my part, I feel that their interfaces shouldn't allow with a misclick of a mouse go to maximum volume. So as a result of these problems, the Anthem is going back in the box. And we're we're taking this back. Crutchfield is, is taking it back. I've told them about the problem that we're having. Uh, it's good that they have their 60-day return policy. So uh, maybe there'll be another day we bring Anthem back in uh, when I get a clear indication from them on if it was something I did or something that they were able to correct. So what do you think of the issues I'm having with Anthem Arc Genesis, the issue it caused that blew out my speaker, and I was able to get a replacement through eBay. That's not a problem. I've even ordered another Polk Audio tweeter through eBay, um, just so I have another one on hand in case something else goes wrong in the future. But I don't think it's the tweeter. Uh, but what is your thoughts? Uh, was it something I did wrong? Is it something that Anthem needs to address? Your feedback would be useful to the RipeWave audio community. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. 
be sure to hit the bell of notification so you're informed when the next video is posted. Until then, keep evolving your audio experience.